Congratulations on your win for Sheffield Central constituency. How are you feeling about that? Well, thanks very much, and I'm absolutely delighted that uh, the people of Sheffield Central gave me such a vote of confidence, going from a majority of 165 to more than 17,000. Mm. So it's, uh, it's a great feeling to know that people have taken the time to go out and put their crosses on ballot papers to give me that mandate. Yeah, I mean, that's a, it's, a, it's a great victory for, obviously, Sheffield Central, but the rest of the UK, Labour not looking so good. What, what's your sort of eyes views on this? Well, no, it's disappointing. I mean, beyond Sheffield, and we've had some good results right across Sheffield and South Yorkshire, um, but beyond, we've not done as well as we might have hoped to have done, and that's not so much a problem for the party, but it's a problem for the people that we speak out for. Mm. You know, those who have been so deeply affected by the destructive policies of this government. Mm. There are rumours that Ed Miliband's job might not be much longer. Would you be possibly... Oh, we've heard lots of um, things about you being a fantastic politician. Maybe his job is something you might be wanting to look at? <laughs> Absolutely not. I've always been a great supporter of Ed's. I think he's provided extraordinary leadership to Labour. Uh, he's a value-driven politician with a proper understanding of the big picture in politics, and he's provided strong leadership in challenging some vested interests in this country. Um, I think there's another message that comes out of tonight, which is to David Cameron, which is don't be triumphal tonight because it's not been a great night for Labour. But equally, the Conservatives have yet again failed to win the election. And the two parties of the coalition, it looks, will have fewer MPs in the new parliament than they had in the old one. So this is no mandate to continue with the same policies. And those of us who've been elected in Sheffield and beyond for Labour tonight will be continuing to challenge you. Yeah, so any words to Conservatives out there? Take care. You know, the people of this country can't withstand a further five years of the same policies. Mm. So what would you like to see happen over the next five years, and particularly for Sheffield? Well, for Sheffield, I'd like to see a lot of things happening that sadly may not happen if this government pursues the same policies. Mm. We've lost, as a council, half our funding. Um, we will not be able to continue public services as people expect to know them um, if the trajectory of funding continues in the same way. This is, this is very serious stuff for the city. OK, well, congratulations on tonight and um, good luck for the next five years. Thanks very much indeed. Thank the returning officer and all his staff, all the police and everybody who's been involved in the administration of the election today. Delighted it's a slightly earlier result than it was uh, five years ago. Can, can I also uh, thank my agent, Barney Minot, who has, been, work, has worked with me over the last uh, seven years and uh, was so crucial in winning in 2010, has been so crucial in winning today, along with all of a fantastic campaign team. It has been an extraordinary privilege to be a candidate working alongside Labour Party members in Sheffield Centre uh, in this election. But above all, can I thank the people of Sheffield Centre who have transformed a majority five years ago of 165 into a majority of 17,300. represent the city that I've lived and worked in for most of my life in Parliament, but by equal measure it has been distressing to see the impact of this government's policies and particularly on the most vulnerable in the constituency I represent in the city that I love. And to see funding taken away from our city and redistributed by this government to wealthier parts of the country. It says everything about the Tories. Now, while outside Sheffield, Labour may not have made the advances that we might have hoped tonight, neither have the Conservatives won a majority, and the coalition parties, it would seem, on the predictions that there are at the moment, will have less seats 
than they had in the previous Parliament. So they have no mandate for more of the same policies. They have no mandate to continue their failed and divisive policies. And those of us who are elected tonight to represent Labour and to re represent Sheffield as a Labour as Labour voices within this Parliament that's coming up will continue to challenge those policies because we believe that Britain can do better.